Through this tutorial, we will learn how we can create simple products and configurable product in Magento 2. To create a new product, click on Catalog and then Products. There is no existing product, product so I will create a simple product first. Okay. To make the product visible, you must enable your product, which is by default yes. And uh, no attribute set is created for my store, so I will use default attribute set. And uh, this is uh, I am uh, creating a book store, so uh, one of the common attribute that I will need is author name for my book, which is not contained in default attribute set. And every uh, elements of this form is act as a product attribute. So to add the author name attribute field, I will click add attribute. These two are the default Magento attribute. I will add my new attribute by clicking create new attribute button. Okay, my attribute name is author name attribute level and this is text field and if you want to make this field mandatory then you will select yes save the attribute okay now type the name of your first product which is English grammar price $65 and uh, make it non-taxable good quantity 120 in stock of course in stock without it the product will not be displayed in your store part okay next where the product will display select the category uh, it will be primary and under English section how to create this category I have already discussed in my Magento tutorial part 1. You can see no, my this video to create it and now click done. Okay, these uh, fields are optional and not mandatory for my bookstore. Now click on the attribute section, then uh, you can see my author name newly created attribute is showing here so type the name of the author Sophia Thornton or Akta okay and uh, now add the image of your product click on image or the video you can uh, add image by clicking here or add video by clicking add video button so I will add a new image for English grammar book okay uh, now I will save my new product click on the back option and you can see your new product list. This is my newly created product, which is Annable, and this is a simple product. Uh, now I will click another product in another category, which will also be a simple product. Now you can see if you go to the downward then the attribute list is already set and each time you create a new product then you have to fill up this attribute field. So suppose this is my ICT book entry. So ICT fundamentals price 
products are created now. Now how this product will show in my own view. I can check it by clicking on customer view option. So click on primary book English and this is our grammar book and click on secondary book ICT and this is our ICT book. In this way, you can add many more simple products to display in your storefront. Now, I will create next product category configurable product. Click on it. Configurable product means a variation of simple products. So, to do this, I have to uh, create a entry for like simple product here. Suppose to my uh, product name, I will create variation of my grammar book. So again, type in English, English grammar book. Price sixty non taxable good quantity forty in stock product for the English that offer me and you it in this okay and now I will set configuration option from here create configuration Click on it. Uh, there is one attribute as listed here. I will create a new attribute for configuration option. Suppose I will add publish a name as a configuration option. Publish a name. which will be drop down list and uh, it will be mandatory and add the option here and uh, type some publication name uh, suppose Panjali Prakash Panjali and same value I will paste here I 
Bonnie Bob. And make it default. Now save the attribute. Okay, now select this newly created attribute and go for next. Okay, these two values will be shown as a configuration option and we shall be proficient name. You can create new value from here also. Now click on next. In this space, you can uh, choose different option depends on your uh, attribute type for example I will uh, use different new emails based on publisher name so select apply unique emails by attribute to each SKU and if you want to skip it just select it so for publisher name the image will be suppose this one and uh, for a nearby publication the image will be this one okay. you can also uh, add different price based on publisher name this one is 65 and this one is 75 and your quantity of stock also vary based on publisher name suppose this is 45 and this is 35 okay now go for next oh, I have to select image for party Okay, now click on next button. Here you can see two products are added for configurable product. One is English Grammar Book Pandiri and second is English Grammar Book Anipa based on publisher name. Now click on generate product. Now you can see this and uh, you can uh, remove it, disable it, or add different product here. Okay, our two products are added here. Uh, now I can save my configurable product. So, uh, here, new attribute is added. Where you want, how you want to save these attributes? This option is. Uh, for that, add configurable attribute to current attribute set, add configurable attribute to new attribute set based on current, or add configurable attribute to existing attribute set. I am choosing add configurable attribute to the only current attribute set. Okay, confirm. Go to the back. Here you can see two more products are added and uh, this one is my configurable product which are based on these two products and which uh, the type of these two products are virtual products. Okay, now I will view my phone store how my configurable products looks. So this uh, is my configurable product, click on it, here you can see two configurable options are added here. If I select Panjuri, then it is showing the image and groups of that product and if I choose Panjuri, 
from here user can select his desired option and what are the desired for. In this way you can add multiple configuration attribute and add here to choose user and select product based on user choice. So I think now you will be able to create configurable product in your Magento website. Good luck.